people see in pictures. Now, if I said to you the word dog, you're going to get some sort of image of a dog in your head. Different dogs, different people. If I say big black dog, it's a clearer image. If I say big black ugly dog with three legs and saliva dripping from its fangs, then the picture that you've got is going to be clearer and everybody's got more of a similar picture to each other. So it's the pictures that you deliver in your presentations that actually are what stay in people's minds. I remember working with a policeman once and her point that she wanted to say in her presentation was that she felt the police should be given more initiative to use common sense. Good point, but she could easily forget that point. But she backed it up by telling a story, by saying that a few weeks ago we had to apprehend a 12 year old girl for stealing 75 pence from her mother's purse so that she could have the bus fare to go to school. Now the story is obviously so ridiculous and so ludicrous, it stays in your mind. Weeks, months later, when you've forgotten the point that she was trying to make, you'll remember the story. And by remembering the story, you'll find your way back to the point again. And when you're delivering a presentation, often the best stories that you can use are personal, they're simple, and they're visual. Personal, something that you know about, something that we can relate to. Simple, something that everybody can understand, and visual, so we can get a picture in our mind. If you think of it as a speaker, you're like a TV transmitter. You have pictures and images in here, your job is to transmit it to the people out there. Because in the end, as a speaker, it's your stories, it's your images, and your metaphors are going to be the things that make your presentation memorable.